Hey everybody, this is uh, Coin Week Editor Charles Morgan. Happy Friday, January 3rd, 2020. And I'm here with our first uh, live stream for the new year. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, three new products that the United States Mint is releasing today. I don't know if you're in the market to watch all the uh, comings and goings of the Mint, but if you are, you'll want to check that uh, check out what we're going to talk about. Also, I'm going to show off a cool limited edition uh, book uh, sent to me by my friends at Colby and Fanning, numismatic booksellers. They sell and primarily deal in antiquarian and rare numismatic books, many dating back to the 19th century at the start of the U.S. coin hobby, but they also have a, a wealth of uh, books at, uh, relating to the uh, European uh, coin collecting, Asian coin collecting, and ancient coin collecting. So I'll be excited to show that off to you. Uh, before we get started, if you uh, haven't done so already, and I'm assuming if you're watching live, you have already, but if you're uh, finding this stream uh, later uh, through your YouTube travels, uh, if you like the content that we provide, please subscribe to our channel uh, and uh, click the notification bell so you'll be updated every time we go live. This is a very busy time in numismatics. The next week, uh, uh, I will be uh, on the road going down to Orlando, Florida to experience the Florida United Numismatists show. That's the big fun show, the, the winter one, and uh, I'll be there. I'll have a table. If you're uh, at the show, please say hi to me if you see me. Tell, uh, show me some of the cool coins you own or have picked up at the show. I'll be excited to hear your stories about it. Uh, another thing is uh, we are going to be uh, doing some filming there. I have no idea what's going to happen or transpire. That's the beauty of it. Dealers bring all sorts of rare and exciting things. Uh, Heritage Auctions has a very fantastic St. Gaudens $20 uh, Double Eagle collection that's going to be offered, which includes something you don't see very often, uh, empty. Uh, too bad they are empty, but empty original mint bags for several uh, interesting dates and mint marks of the St. Gaudens $20 Double Eagle. When is the last time you've ever been to a coin shop and seen an original mint bag for gold coins? They're very, very rare. So they are going to be offered. Uh, also some uh, top pop rare, rare issues, including some later dates and the 1907 uh, Ultra High Relief at MS67, and most of these double eagles are CAC certified. So if you're an upper tier uh, registry set kind of collector, you may want to check it out. Uh, if you are uh, Mr. Simpson, one of the biggest uh, collectors uh, in the US coin market, I think there are a few uh, dates uh, available in this uh, collection which may upgrade your current number one and historically important $20 double eagle collection. So, with that said, also, if you're in the market for anything related to coin supplies, you may want to check out our coin supply store. If you go to our homepage, you will see uh, it is located uh, at the top nav in red, Shop Supplies. Uh, we have a, a great selection of books. Uh, we have uh, anything for your collecting uh, needs. Uh, flips, coin tools, uh, holders, uh, display boxes, you name it. So uh, we have uh, pretty much everything uh, you could want and, uh, and more. And uh, we are very excited to uh, offer you uh, these products. Every purchase uh, you make on Coin Week Supplies helps fund independent journalism for the coin industry. Uh, and uh, independent journalism is very much needed when you have all of these uh, exciting coins and things that are happening in numismatics and you want to find the true story. Uh, you want to know, uh, you know, what coins are uh, problem coins versus uh, quality coins. If you want to know where the market actually is, you want to un uh, lacquered, uh, un uh, no veneer uh, representation of something that you have quite a bit of enthusiasm and money invested in. You definitely want to support Coin Week and the work we do. Uh, we have won the NLG Award for Best Numismatic Website for six of the last seven years, if you can believe it. And it's been a lot of hard work. But without any further ado, let's get into the three mint products that are out today and what they're going to set you, what they're going to run you. So the first one here uh, is a 2020. Happy birthday, currency note. And the uh, serial number starts with 2020, as you can see. Uh, they uh, are selling this product for $5.95. It includes a $1 uncirculated note with a serial number beginning with 2020, as I said. And it will be discounted 
to $4.50 when ordering 50 or more with a volume discount applied to the shopping cart. So if you're into uh, novelty currency notes, currency collectibles, you are paying a, a premium for this uh, $1 note, but maybe you have a special loved one in your family and uh, you uh, want to give them something like this to hold on to as a keepsake. So that's the first thing that's going to be available today. The second set is the Happy Birthday Coin Set 2020. These are San Francisco Mint Coins, and they include a five 2020 dated proof coins accompanied by a certificate of authenticity, and you can add your own personal greeting. Um, the coin includes a tall grass prairie National, Reserve, uh, National Preserve quarter uh, from the America the Beautiful Coin Program. Uh, there's no ordering limit, mintage limit, and as far as I can tell, there is no discount for bulk purchasing. But if you have a birthday, a 2020 birthday, which everybody who's living will have one, uh, and you want to give a coin set, uh, here you go. There you go. And finally, the third item out today uh, on the U.S. Mint's first three numismatic items offered for sale uh, this, uh, this year is the Birth Set 2020. Uh, these are also San Francisco coins, and it includes uh, another five proof coins. There is a difference, however. Uh, here, instead of the tall grass prairie, you get the American Samoa quarter. So uh, two of the uh, America the Beautiful quarters in proof are uh, out there trickling these out. This set costs $23. Uh, looking on to the rest of the uh, January, it's going to be a busy January, uh, the United States Mint will offer the American Innovation 2019 $1 uh, New Jersey uh, uh, coin on January 7th. I won't be able to stream the launch of that. I will be on the road to fun. Uh, on January 9th, the American Eagle 2020 one uh, ounce silver proof coin will come out. That's a West Mint product. And I expect that there's going to be some busyness at the fun show. Maybe the first of these will be graded. There'll probably be a special insert as there usually is. There's also the Congratulations Set 2020 that has the Silver Eagle in it and the same West Point coin. You have on January 14th, the American the Beautiful 2020 Proof Set. That's when all five of the quarters will be released. Uh, and then on the 30th of January, wrapping out the month, we have the Preamble to the Declaration of Independence 2020 Platinum Proof Coin with the pursuit of happiness theme. So that is your January, your first releases of the year from the United States Mint. Now, I told you before we started that I was gonna show off a cool thing I got sent uh, in the mail from my friends Colby and Fanning. It's a new book called Theon's Masterpiece and the Early Literature of Confederate Paper Money by David F. Fanning. And I will show this to you here. You see it has Theon's uh, signature. Uh, up here in a facsimile, right? Uh, this was a magnificent presentation and exploration of what is a essential landmark uh, numismatic book in the study of Confederate paper money with uh, copious illustrations and images from the manuscript, which is quite rare today. Uh, and uh, Fanning, who has got a PhD, by the way, uh, and has made a career in studying the intricacies of numismatic writing and research catalogs and uh, pretty much everything involving the uh, studious part of our industry uh, and how we convey that knowledge uh, goes into quite a bit of detail about Raphael Theon, who was uh, born in France in 1840, but became a prominent expert on, on Confederate paper money. And he goes into uh, quite a bit of detail about the way paper money was uh, sold in the beginnings of the American coin hobby. And he goes and shows play, different plates and things from the book. So this is a, a limited edition item. Uh, my copy is a, re, uh, a re, um, review copy, so it falls outside of the uh, purview of the limited nature of it. But uh, he has printed 100 copies 
of this book, of which 24 have been issued, housed in custom-made portfolio with an original leaf from Theon's uh, The Currency of the Confederate States of America and issues, types, and series with descriptive letterpress. I love those long names. Uh, and uh, and the layout is by uh, David's wife Maria, and uh, so you can you can get a copy of this while they are still available by going to enumaslit.com. That is Colby and Fanning's website. If you're in the market again, one of the things I love, uh, and I have quite an extensive numismatic uh, literature library, is the limited nature of some of these things. I I, I am lucky and fortunate enough to uh, to study coins and work with coins on a daily basis, but uh, to, to hold in your hands like an unpublished manuscript from a from a major writer, researcher, or a, 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 a 130 year old uh, numismatic magazine or uh, auction catalog, it's really a thrill and you get to really experience like the, the hobby as other people who came into the hobby before you did experience it. So that wraps it up for me, folks. I appreciate uh, you lucky, uh, lucky concurrent viewers watching the live stream. I appreciate the uh, support. Uh, and again, uh, we have some great uh, stuff that's going on online on Queen Week today and Monday. Uh, we have planned out some uh, coverage of the Heritage Auction. Uh, we are going to go uh, into uh, quite a bit of detail on four or five lots that we find interesting. Of course, there are thousands of lots in that sale. Uh, we also have some uh, coverage of the first America the Beautiful Quarter from uh, contributing writer Chris Bullfinch, who you may recognize. Uh, he has been with Coin World for a few years, so uh, he will be writing for us on occasion. So anyway, for the team at Coin Week, uh, I hope you have a good weekend, and thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.